in a standard ecg ventricular repolarization is represented by before discussing the options let us see standard ecg and in a standard ecg p wave indicates depolarization of atria QRS complex indicate depolarization of ventricles. And T wave indicates repolarization of ventricles. Again come to the options, we have to find out which wave indicates ventricular repolarization and ventricular repolarization is represented by T wave. So correct answer to this question is option number 3 T wave. Proceeding to the next question, with respect to life cycle of plasmodium fertilization and development takes place in and the options given are first option RBCs of human this is incorrect B mosquitoes of gut this is correct as you can see in this figure fertilization occurs in the female mosquito in the gut of female mosquito gametes are formed in the mosquito gut and fertilization also occurs in the mosquito gut. Third option, hepatocytes of human, this is incorrect. Fourth option, hepatic lobule of human, this is also incorrect. And correct answer to this question is option number two. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita represent homologous organs which arise due to. Homologous organs arise as a result of divergent evolution. While analogous organs arise as a result of convergent evolution. Example of homologous organs are thorns of bougainvillea, and tendrils of cucurbita. Example of analogous organs, one example is wings of insects and wings of birds. So as question is asking about thorns of bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita, they are result of divergent evolution. So correct answer to this question is option number two. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that glycosuria and ketonuria are indicative of and the options given are diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, renal calculi and titani. Glycosuria is presence of glucose in urine. Presence of glucose in urine. While ketonuria is presence of ketone bodies in urine. Diabetes insipidus is due to deficiency of ADH renal calculi is formation of stones within kidney and titani occurs due to hypocalcemia that is 
decrease in level of calcium in the blood. So as question is asking about glycosuria and ketonuria are indicative of presence of glucose in the urine sample and presence of ketone bodies in the urine sample are indicative of diabetes mellitus. In diabetes insipidus polyuria occurs without glycosuria. So this cannot be a correct answer and correct answer to this question is option number 1. Proceeding to the next question, question states that how many of the following statements are true with respect to fundamental features of chordates? A. Pharynx is perforated by gill slits. This is correct. B. Heart is dorsal if present. This is incorrect. In chordates, heart is ventral in position. C. Post anal tail is absent. This is also incorrect because post anal tail is present in chordate. C. Nudocord is absent. Again, this is incorrect because nudocord is present in chordate. Central nervous system is dorsal, hollow and single. This is correct as you can see in the diagram. Nerve cord represents here central nervous system and it is dorsal in position, single and hollow. So, this is correct. Choose the correct option as we have to find out the true statements with respect to the chordates and only A and E are true. So, only two statements are correct. So, correct answer to this question is option number 2. Proceeding to the next question. 